already begin game. All right, so you start off, you can mute the thing in the upper right just at the speaker. You pick like a dream on what's known as the outer ring of the circle. So this is like, it doesn't matter at fucking all. So I'm just gonna go, I want a park named after me, okay? Also below that, you can see it, it'll give you your salary and all that, but then you can always look at that in the financial statement on the left-hand side. So I just, you pick a dream. I go first, I roll the die, I draw a deal card, it's a small deal, I'm gonna buy some stock here, I'm gonna buy, you know, some shares, so, like I said, pick your dream of whatever it is you wanna quote unquote achieve, and then take the time though before you click on your dream to read your stats right below it, your job, your salary, your, your payday. So that means every time you pass the little yellow payday squares, you'll get that amount in cash flow. And the top part is your overall salary. You want your passive income to pass your overall total expenses so that you're financially free and you no longer work for the man to pay your rent. So your investments will then produce enough income that you no longer have to do the work. That's how you get to the outer ring. And then once you're in the outer ring, you buy a series of businesses as such to increase your cash flow by $50,000 a month. Because once you can do 50K a month, 100K a month, million dollars a month, $5 million a month, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, obviously, if you achieve your lifelong dream, quote unquote, you can win the game, even though your cash flow is lower than mine, even though you have less money than mine. If you achieve your life's goal, Kiyosaki says happiness is wealth. So therefore you win, which leads to some frustration. Let's say you got 5 million stacked and your cash flow is just stupid. And then your buddy's at fucking 500 K and he lands on his dream. It's over. It's a little bit of randomness to the game to go with the other stuff. So it's sick though. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think that would be a jet setter out here. Let's go dog. And honestly, like financial advice dog, the plane comes before the hyper car of the house. Like, lease a car, rent a fucking apartment, but own that motherfucking jet before you go and drop $5 million on a house. Because that'll get you into the rooms that you need to be in to make even more money so that that $5 million house becomes a $50 million house, and then you got three of them, and then you, trust me, dog, that's, I love that jet Sunday. That's the best first investment, man, hands down. Before you start trying to review your financial state, so that's on the left hand side here. So if you if you go on the left hand side, that's what I was just explaining. So you'll have your salary, you'll have your you know what your cash flow is and all that. So when you look at your financial statement here, that bar total expenses of whatever amount you want to get your passive income to greater than that amount to get to the other ring. But here's the deal: as you borrow money to buy property and do other things, that expenses amount is going to increase and or change. Exactly. Just like well, and if you look down at your liabilities, let's say you pay off your car loan or your credit card debt or your retail debt or your loan or whatever, you can see on the expenses side how much of your cash flow that will increase. Now, I personally, as a financial advisor, would not recommend you do this. I suggest you just earn more fucking money, but some people like cutting expenses and, and scrimping and saving and living small in order to make their dream. I say, fuck that, double that car payment, double that rent payment, and just make more, so... It's just kind of a wealth mindset, you know what I'm saying? But yep, that's I it. Take. My, I wish my car loan was $80 a month. Shit. This one, my, my guy's paying 220 which is actually probably a little less than I pay shit. But, I mean, it's not bad, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Not at all. Dog, leasing is the way to go. Like, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's great. See, I do I do leasing and I do renting because it's like the amount of cash you shed is nothing. Uh, cool. Mhm. Mm and then you're going to get a deal card, a market card. So I would suggest small deals. It says big deal 6k or more. I would go more like 15 to 20, dog. Then big deals get expensive. But so take a small deal and see what you're uh, presented with. Small deal. How much per share? So, so see, see, but the trading value is, is what? Like, I don't know if I'd go for that, dog. It goes lower, trust me. So, 10, 10 to 30, well, here's the deal. The stock range, since you've never played this before, is $1 to $50. It's, it's on the lower end, but like, there's one, there's five, there's, you know what I mean? And it goes up past 30. You could hit 40, you could hit 50. So if you do a one to 50 or a five to 40 or something, man, that's worth a lot more than like a 10 to 20. I don't know if you want to tie up your capital like that, you know? It's it's like Monopoly and life combined, basically. I guess. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, freaking Robert Kiyosaki's rich dad had him play Monopoly with him all the time. 
That's and finally got it until he was like, why are we playing Monopoly? He's like, this is play Monopoly in real life. Yeah. And that's when his fucking rich dad bought all those properties to get the win. At uh, Waikiki Beach. Yeah, son. There you go. Absolutely. I would pass on that time. Skip it. Yeah. So, like, you're, you're given the opportunity to borrow money or repay loans kind of, like, before and after every turn. Just sort of as, like, a how you're managing your cash flow type of deal. So, and then once you kind of get better at it, you'll get the idea. So, like, 20 bucks a share on that? Fuck that company. I got to wait till it's in the bottom. <laughs> so, it's a... Go ahead. And it just kind of goes like that. Yeah, right, right. So market cards are when you sell those deals you buy. So if you pick up a 3-2 house, if you pick up a 2-1 condo, if you buy shares of stock, if you buy a company, if you start a part-time company, if you join an MLM, any of the available deal cards, when the market cards come up, they affect those deals. Sometimes you might have to cough up some dough. Sometimes you get some dough. In this case, say you had bought your condo for $35,000, you'd make 30 racks off that flip. Like, that's a decent flip, you know? But if you bought your condo, say, 75000 you ain't got to take that deal. Yeah, now it says sixty five k for right. two one now. Well, neither of us own property, so... Yeah, there's no assets that match this market card. Because, right. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but I'm just letting you know that the range is probably... Twenty-five grand to like one hundred fifty on the properties for condos, and then the houses are probably also twenty-five grand, but they go up to like millions of dollars, like would include a golf course membership and blah blah fucking blah. And you and I both know you don't want to own them single-family homes, dog. <laughs> a million-dollar single-family dollar home does not cash flow the way a fucking multi-million-dollar multi-family building does. <laughs> so they're a waste of money. Yep, yep, that's it. Yeah, because we're still starting out. Oh, see, someone's offering up 110 racks for a 3 2. Shit, if you bought it for 50 or 60, it'd be a flip. But nobody owns property. Ooh, there you go. Cripple price. Mmm, that sounds good. What's that one trading for? Fucking. Trading range is 5 to 40, and that cost me 5 bucks to get So it. there you go. So that's that's where I would drop some dough on that one and flip it at 40. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I would say do like a percentage of cash on hand, 50% cash on hand, something like whatever your risk ratio is. I, I would not suggest 100% because there's cards there's cards that can fuck you, you know, so. But like 50%, 60%, 70%, wherever your risk ratio is, throw some cash on hand at the shares. And then when it comes up again, flip it. And I think you and me might be writing the same way. Yep, I own uh, some shares of OK for you as well, so. When we hit the lick, we're going to be hitting the lick at the same time, which is also kind of exciting in the game because uh, it means that all of a sudden we both are able to buy properties at the same time instead of one before the other. So to the moon, Jason, to the moon. Oh, yeah. oh shit, they're asking me if I want to sell? No, no, pass, dog. I know it's going up. Hold old diamond hand. See? And that's why I just got fired from my job. I got to pay two sets of full expenses because it takes me two months to find a job, apparently. Yikes, dog. Have to borrow to fucking do it. Ooh, hurts the soul, but hey, run it up on the credit card when you ain't got it. Yeah, so the borrow and repay, if you're on the page, you can borrow, then obviously you can repay what you borrow. And another well, 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 yeah, so so it's 10% interest, so if you borrow, every $1,000 you borrow, you owe 100 bucks in cash flow every month to the loan payment until, until you pay it off. So, so, technically speaking, if you don't pay it off in 10 terms, 10 turns your turn you don't pay it off in 10 turns technically speaking you're losing money after that but i mean at the same time you know me i mean you can pay off the expenses you can pay off the loans but realistically just get more fucking money so if you're borrowing money to make money that's one thing if you're if you're borrowing money at a loss like if you're borrowing 10k which is a thousand dollars in cash flow and the property cash flow is 900 bucks don't fucking do that but like if the property cash flow two grand and you're already gonna pay a thousand dollars on the loan payment and make a thousand dollars Borrow it, make the down payment, keep all your cash on hand, and keep it moving. The bank just bought the deal for you, just like in real life. Yeah. You know? So, some people pay off all them loans and stuff. Nah, me, not so much. I mean, fuck it, I'll keep banking that loan payment. I'll give a fuck as long as the tenant is paying the loan payment. Oh, my guy, keep doing yeah. <laughs> Stack them. That's good, yeah. So. Right, and that's what he's teaching you with this game is 
just like in real life, the bank is the one that buys your deal, not me. I ain't going and raising 500 fucking racks out of my own pockets. No, sir. I go to the bank and I say, hey, my guy, I need a loan. Commercial loan, multifamily business. Let's go. And they say, great. All of these people have been saving money with us. We have fractional lending. Here's your money. Yay. Yeah, see? That, no, so imagine you have a 24 plex. Imagine you have a 60 plex, you know what I mean? Like a little four plex, a little duplex, a little eight plex, that's cool, but like when the apartment house cards and stuff come up, ooh, ooh. I have an asset, so I can't do anything. Yeah, right, yeah, we don't own any real estate yet. You and I are little stock boys. We're traders. We're day trading on the computer and learning right now. Shit, all right, now I gotta walk in. Yep, because I'm fired, so I just get skipped. Downside ooh, that's why you held on to some cash at least. You may still have to borrow. It's all right, run it off on the credit card. Shit. There you go, you survived, oh boy. I ain't got shit on me, but I'm the... <laughs> Yeah, that's all right, so now it's your turn because I'm fired too, so. <laughs> oh, now my guy goes to the casino right away? What a schmuck, this guy. <laughs> all right, let's go. Small deal, what do we got, 10 bucks? Ooh, you know I got pass on that. That's expensive for my blood. Hey, you got paid. You got paid. You woke up that day, payday. You're good. Hey, all right, I got a little something, something. There you go. All right, small deal. What do we got? Ooh, selling at 50 bucks, and I knew you were riding this way. Boy, this is to the moon. This is stupid. What am I making at 150000 on this flip? Oh, wow. God damn, son. Let's go. See, we rode it to the moon, baby. What'd you make on that bad boy? Let's see. What is it selling for? It's selling for 50 bucks. The top of the top, baby. You just click sell and it'll tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make twenty five hundred off that. Hey, that a boy? Let's go. See, I I threw all my money I had at a dollar, dog. So it's a lucky flip, but we off and running. <laughs> yeah, until you get like twenty racks up, just keep doing small deals because most of the down payments on the big deals are 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. So. No, no, CDs, all that stuff, dog, them little little drip trickles. No, you tie up all that capital for that little payment from the bank? You trust the bank with your money? No, no. What the fuck is that? That's a cost four grand with $20 of cash flow. Right, right, it's just like it's just like the bank. Let me go, let me buy a mutual fund, let me buy a, you know, uh, a CD, a treasury bond. Like, oh, uh, pass on that, dog. Oh, kids, ugh. Ugh. Uh. It's all right, dog. It happens, man. There's a maximum of three, though, so you can't get fucked with, like, 12. They won't dug at you, but... I got a little bit of cash on hand, though. A little bit of something, something. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, stock flip helps, you know what I mean? Oh, small deal. Hey. Cash flow is negative 100. No. No. Yep, yeah. See, they're hoping that you're, the market will turn and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You got that right. And then when you get into the big deals, keep a healthy eye out. Because when you're putting them fifteen and twenty K down, uh ooh, what's that favorable financing by the bank? That other cash flow positive, right? Yeah, I mean it's a five grand down pay, which I'll be short of with a two twenty cash flow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so here here's the deal. So like two grand, three grand for two hundred bucks, I could see putting up five grand for two hundred bucks, that's like a Five percent? Like I don't know about that one, man. That sounds a, that sounds a little slim on the on the it's, margins. It's almost sexy. But no, no, yeah, it's a little slim on the margins there. All right, so here we go. Start a part time company, three grand down, cash flow zero. But if you draw a market card that says, "Hey, your business takes off," you know somebody's looking to buy a what does it say? A way of making widgets. If somebody's looking for a widget company, they might pay hey, 50 racks, 100 racks, something, you know what I mean? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest in myself. I'm going to start that part-time business at home. Let's go. Another small deal. Uh, stock options, fucking. Record share price? No, no. That's only when you cash out. Yeah. You buy when they flop a fucking movie, and then when the next blockbuster comes, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Box office flop. This ain't bad, but trading 10 to 30, a 10 to 30 flip? Mm, I don't know about that. That's it's only three acts. Another small deal. Cash going up slowly, though. Market's 
strength means some stock option. Ooh, five to forty is a trading range, but the cost is forty. So no. Yeah, no, no, exactly. No way, dog. Oh, anniversary dinners, casinos. This guy's living large. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's, ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's solid. That's solid for a 3 2, my guy. And what's the what's the cost on the house? 50 Gs. And as you know from the market card that popped up earlier, people pay 110 for those in an up market. So in a depressed market due to layoffs, ooh, that's a solid buy. That's a nice deal. That's a first deal right there. Mm, let's go. But you said cash, do you have at least two grand? Oh, you got it right off the... Look at you go. Let's go. See? That's that first deal, my guy. That's that first deal, my guy. So passive income's 200. My total expenses is 1620. Still not that bad for total expenses. Let's see. So 4600 bucks. So if I borrow the 4600 is this going to put me out in one flip? Oh, shit. Well, I'm sorry, my guy. Listen, that that to the moon stock flip, <laughs> and that's some good payment. So what happened here is this: I leveraged, I leveraged my bank loan till basically my, so, like let's say I have five grand in total expenses, right? I borrowed five hundred racks from the bank, which makes er wait, I borrowed a lot of money from the bank, so I had to pay an additional five thousand dollars in. in the, monthly expenses in bank loan payments right bought a big ass property which cash flowed even higher than the bank loan payments that I needed to buy that down payment now my cash flow to income is 1.1 million dollars which is pretty high for this game um, you'll notice that like if you look at your passive income it's only four thousand five thousand bucks which if you well no no your uh, total expenses I'm saying that bar so if you he exceed that and you times it by 100, it's only 500 grand, 600 grand. So in order to get that higher than the amount that's listed on there, you got to borrow money from the bank, which increases your total expenses through bank loan payments. But if you utilize that money correctly and buying smart deals, you, you can really stack some bread in this game. So this is how you can run it up. So I've run it up with a, couple, a buddy of mine, Mike, that... We've played a few games where I'm making like ten million dollars of cash flow a day, which I I've gone to like cash flow meets and stuff. I don't think anybody knows this little loop of how to like just just quadruple your cash flow like that, to where your you know your total expenses is forty thousand, and then your passive income is thirty nine thousand a month, and then the second you get close, no nope, no, nope, let me borrow more money and make my total expenses fifty thousand, give myself an eleven k buffer, and then et cetera et cetera. So, um, but either way. It's your, your turn. Sorry about that. I'm out of the <laughs> I'm out of the inner circle. We out of the rat race, boy. You'll see. These games can kind of go pretty fast if somebody gets lucky. Like I got fucking lucky, so you know. I mean, I'll take a one dollar to fifty dollar flip all day. <laughs> that doesn't happen in real life, but you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. Do your deal. No worries. I mean. I'm, we're working here, he's working here, so. I don't know if you can see this, this is my guy, he, we're doing the video shoots, my guy Jimmy. We'll have a conversation with you two in the, after the first round of cash flow here because he he works for WeatherTech's videography department and they use, I mean, you and him can nerd it up on all the stuff you guys use and do, so. I'm not going to understand half of it, but you know. Blah, 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 model, spec, spec. I get it though. It's dope shit, you know. I'm just still learning. Yeah, it's easy to make basic content. It's hard to make that like top level shit. Yeah, anybody can walk around holding a fucking iPhone, but to really have that like top shit, ooh. Take some know-how. Yeah, so like if you'd had shares, now you'd have double. Which I do. So nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright, I'm gonna buy that family food chain. Let's go. Small deal. Negative cash flow. Get the fuck out of here, eh? Nope, nope. Hey. Alright, what do we got? 
donate to charity? Let's go, of course. Of course. My boy. Uh, speakers for a stereo, 500 bucks. Fuck out of here. Bumping tunes, let's go. <laughs> I love I love his doodad cards, dude. I just love his doodad cards. They're sort of like, alright, let's see if I get my Russian oil deal. Let's go. Fuck. They fucked me on it. They always fuck you on it. It's like a one in six chance of winning. <laughs> Ooh, mega flop hop. See, that's when you buy. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I was hoping for a one on that. They made it seem like the company just fucked itself. I don't know, man. I hold out for real estate, maybe, especially considering like you've already got some property. Think about if you had two or three, three, two stacked when a fucking market card comes up at 110 a pop. Mm. Mm mm. Yeah, it's a small bag potential. That's $5 to get in with the trading range that's guaranteed positive. So they just put a little better. Yeah, that's true. Whatever cash you got on hand, man. Do, do your deal. Do your deal with the percentage of that, and uh, that's your risk adversity. I buy twenty shares, hundred bucks. Fuck it. There you go. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Sadly, your uh, dream just doubled in cost. If you land on the other people's dream, it like gets more expensive. There you go. Yeah, sure. By the boy, increasing the cash flow. Oh. Oh, that's something else. Okay. There you go. I would do it because you get to roll two dice, which doubles your paydays. So you go around the ring twice as fast for three turns. I mean, I'm doing it on the outer ring right now, so. That's all right. You got that three two, which is positive cash flowing until somebody comes to want to buy it. So it's a win win. Problem with the stocks is they don't necessarily cash flow. So you know. Ooh, that's solid. That's solid. Software company people buy those all the time. Let's go. Not to pay five G's with no cash flow. Right now. But, but when you come across some market cards, people do buy the companies, you know? I got, I got the cash flow. Yeah, that's, I, I would definitely, anytime those like start a business deals, you got to remember Kiyosaki's an entrepreneur. He wants to like, you to inspire you to do that. So like whenever the market cards come up for the businesses, it's always 50K, 100K, just crazy, uh, uh, Ooh, and that's and that's that, my guy. That's that. So, how, how do I get on the freaking outer? You got a stack of cash. I got lucky. I got lucky. So I'm gonna show you my screen here. So six point six on the on the on the deal. But uh, it's uh, it's one of those deals, man. That it uh, as you get used to it, as you get used to it. So there's two other versions. There's one version. There's this guy right here. I know. Don't worry. The, the games go fast like that when someone gets lucky. I got lucky as fuck. I should have passed on that dollar deal is what I should have done. On the next round, dog, I'm going to pass. I was too greedy this round. I was like, dog, a fucking dollar? Like, Let me borrow money and throw everything I have at it. This is the original game, and they use these uh, like cash flow documents that you like hand written. Like, it's a notepad that you tear off sheets so you can buy more. This one, this is the new up-to-date one that he dropped during the pandemic. This is like a 2020, I want to say, release on the on the date either way so this was like the 2020 release date on it but so on this one he actually has like physical uh like monopoly money cash and uh this this one and the other one these take a lot longer to play than the online these are probably more like 30 minutes to 60 minute games just because they're like physically counting the cash and doing math and erasing and writing in your ledger and blah 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 versus versus this one digitalizes it so like in the paper one you have to, A, you have your paper version of that statement that you and I were looking at, but every single time you buy a property, make a payment, whatever, dog, you have to make an entry into the cash ledger. 
This is the original. This is the very, very first one that, that he ever did. And uh, it's pretty dope, but it's definitely one of those things that, uh, like, it, um, it, it took... That one's the hardest. Like, if I'm being honest, that's the hardest. Like, if someone's new to this, making them fill out that cash ledger instead of the computer just auto-fucking choosing whatever you do for you like it happens in real life. Like, when you swipe a debit card or you make a payment or you make a wire transfer, you're not fucking writing that shit down in the cash ledger anymore. No one is. And he recognized that, and that's why he made the online version, and that's why, you know, when it came to the pandemic and people were sitting around at home with their families, he made the cash version to make it easier for kids. And there's obviously a cash flow for kids that's, like, ridiculously easy, like 1, 3, and 5 instead of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it makes it just really, really easy for kids, but it's 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 pretty cool, man. It is sweet. I think you can play with up to six online. I know you can play with up to six in person. Um, so we've we've done a few like four, five, and six rounds here. You know, like you know, at my various houses I've lived at, etc. Man, yeah. Are you at the office or at the crib right now? I'm at the crib. We are we don't even really have an office right now. We just have all four of us remote. Just yeah. Surgeries and shit. I was just like, fuck it. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. You're gonna be just working from where you're at. Yeah. So I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm being. Probably, we'll see. We might get a office again later in the year. Just do like we work things on the times you all need to link up. Yeah. I mean, well, Andrew's company that he works with now has a we work office, so I pop in there sometimes. Uh, and so, but we work's expensive. But, yeah, I got a WeWork card, so I know this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's one of those deals. It's like it's it, it works for that short time. Like, if you're just getting it for one meeting you book one day, solid. Yeah, I, uh, when I lived in Chicago, I had WeWork, which was dope. It was a cool vibe. Um, and then in 2020, like, I had free WeWork for, like, a year. Yeah, so, I, I did that, like, membership, like, thing or whatever, too, where it's, like, you paid something something one time and then you got a whole like bunch of months I remember that yeah yeah uh, we were me Jared Rob and Andrew were all just taking turns getting free three months and just letting each other in yeah right of course it's yeah fucking squad of that, that's we awesome dude during the pandemic so no one was there we literally had like the whole three story we were complex to ourselves yeah like the janitor would, like, would just let us he's like what office you almost say we're like yeah we'll take the big one in the corner he's like yeah it's already unlocked for y'all yep, <laughs> yep. Like, no. yeah that's sick dude yeah I love the Astro in the background you know what I mean I, I love the surroundings this is funny enough like this is this is my mom's crib mom lives up north so to help her out i moved out of my town home and rented this from her it saves me a little bit of cash yeah uh, but then also like this is where like astro started when i still lived at home and like me and alex would just be shacked up we had both of our desks in here mm -hmm. so it's like kind of it's kind of weird like being back in like the den but it's just like i'll help my mom out because my mom's lives up north got a job but she can't really afford to like have the house just sit yeah so I was like alright cool I'll just rent the house and then you know it's familiar at yeah. least yeah but, hell yeah dude I was just gonna say I love the Astro behind you yeah, like on the wall yeah. and stuff that's sick dude 